seed two, ideas. Let's talk all about your ideas because I know you have a ton of them. First, let's talk a little bit about identifying the ideas versus the priorities and where to keep those ideas. Now, of course, we all know what Pinterest is these days. And you might have public boards, you might have private boards, but I will tell you, if you do have Pinterest, spend a little bit of time organizing your thoughts. It really helps a lot for vendors, designers, planners, creative partners. If you share your Pinterest ID, and if your boards are private, totally fine, just be sure to share them with others that are going to be executing and dreaming up your big big day for you. Because oftentimes we will meet with clients and they're like, oh, I don't like that anymore. Oh, I don't like that anymore. And they don't have folders. They don't have things organized. And of course, you're going to change your mind. That is just completely normal. Um, other things to think of about organizing your ideas, not just only in Pinterest, but all of your files, all of your vendor quotes, all of the PDFs that you're going to get. So on the business side of things, in order to keep yourself organized, I'm gonna dive in to just a few free apps. So first I'm gonna talk a little bit about Dropbox and how to organize your Dropbox. If you don't have Dropbox, you do get a certain amount of space for free. And I would definitely recommend putting all of those vendor quotes in Dropbox and naming them appropriately, which I'll talk about that in just a few minutes. So on Dropbox, you can just keep online folders. You do not have to sync them to your computer if you don't have the space. However, it's so much more user-friendly if you actually download Dropbox onto your computer and you organize different wedding folders for the respective categories. So again, all of your quotes, I do have some clients instead of using Pinterest, they simply put pictures in Dropbox and then share that link. Because if you're emailing or texting videos and pictures back and forth, it can really eat up your space really, really quickly. The other thing to know is naming your files and your quotes. Again, very, very, very important so you can find your stuff so you don't get aggravated. And I'm going to show you what that looks like in just a moment. Another free app Google Drive, it really helps with organization. The difference between Dropbox and Google Drive is anything that we are not editing on a regular basis, such as quotes, that goes into Dropbox. Just simply drop it in there, get it out of your email or your text messages so that you've got everything organized and you can keep all of your contracts and your invoices and everything like that in the cloud. Fine if you want to print it out, but remember... Those papers can burn, get stolen, so be sure to back up your stuff in the cloud. Same thing with Google Drive, except I love to use Google Drive when we're editing things and sharing things. So if you're constantly updating your guest list or your RSVP list or you're constantly updating your budget or your wedding timeline, which I'm going to share those templates with you all soon, this is where you're going to want to keep those types of Word and Excel documents or pages and sheets. You're going to want to keep these things in Google Drive. Now, if you don't have Wi-Fi all the time, you can always go to a, the settings on your smartphone and tell these documents. It's simply a button where you allow yourself to access these files offline. That's very, very important. In fact, in my company, I potty train my brain as well as my team members to make sure that each time we're traveling or we're going to a field or a farm, and I'm not sure if we're going to have Wi-Fi, that we access the files. We click that little button so we can access the files offline. So this is what the free apps look like on your smartphone. If you want to be able to edit on the go from your phone, which I do a lot, you're going to want to download these free Google apps. On the left here, we have Docs, which is very similar to Microsoft Word. And on the right, we have Sheets, which is very similar to Microsoft Excel. 
So again, if you want to edit on the go from an iPad or an iPhone or a smartphone, you're going to want to download these applications. So with Google Drive, again, I just want to encourage you to share the documents because I promise you, it can reduce the amount of confusion, amount of emails, amount of text messages, all the back and forth. The other thing that I love about Google Drive is if you share your documents with certain people and you're all in it at the same time, Google Drive automatically saves. It's all in real time. And as long as you're all on Wi-Fi, you don't have to worry about losing anything. Now, if something gets messed up by accident, don't worry because you can always go back on Google Drive and track who did what and restore. So don't freak out. I promise you, we have never, in all the years we've been using this free system, we've never had an issue with it. A couple other tidbits about organizing your ideas, other great free apps to use. On the left here, we have Evernote. So that is a great way to keep folders and keep your ideas in the cloud. And then as far as a to-do list and ideas and things that you want to look at and things that you can do, on the right is Wonderlist. It's a great free app with just a list of to-dos or ideas or websites that you want to reference. So definitely take a look at these applications just to store your ideas. Want more? Well, you got to visit the link. And it's case sensitive. So type the link exactly the way you see it below. It's bit.ly slash capital D-I-Y, lowercase wedding planning. So bit.ly slash D-I-Y wedding planning. And I'll see you on the other side. Have a great day.